What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Breezy from my shot because tweets and I look. Maverick said jazz. Um, let's get straight into this. Kyrie get buckets. For some reason, y'all think I'm a Luka Doncic hater just because I say he doesn't deserve MVP as the AC. I'm not even getting into that MVP discussion because y'all gonna have me really live it, bro. And okay, okay, I'm gonna start talking about this. When I said Luka Doncic wasn't leading the league in scoring, I meant in reality. I know the NBA wants to act like Joel Embiid didn't exist just because he got hurt. Bro, he averaged 37 points when he was playing. Luka only averages 34. When Joel Embiid was playing, he was leading the league in scoring. Now you just erased him from NBA history for this season because he got hurt. Okay, cool. But like every other season, every other season in the league history, he would have been counted as a scoring leader, as a scoring champion. Okay, understood? Like Joel Embiid, like you can't make me unsee him averaging 37. Just because he got hurt. Let's be for real now, y'all. The average 37. That's what he really averaged. Look it up. Check his basketball reference between him and Luka and see who averages more points. Now, just because he got hurt doesn't mean that he doesn't exist, bro. And he was averaging 37, and his team had a way better record than the Mavericks. And I'm a Mavericks fan, bro. Kyrie's my second favorite player. I'm rooting for Kyrie. I want Kyrie to win a championship. But I'm just saying, Luka doesn't deserve MVP. How can Luka deserve MVP? And I feel like the Mavericks are a better team without Luka than without Kyrie. Without Kyrie, the Mavericks are just nothing. Without Luka, the Mavericks still have Kyrie. <laughs> you feel me? Anyway, I say that to get into the game now. Let's get into the game. Let's just enjoy it, bro. Thing is, me and Luka are on the same side now, so I'm not a hater. Like, we're on the same side. I want Luka to win a championship this year. Does that mean Kyrie won the championship this year, too? Anyway, good pass, Dante. Good pass, PJ. Easy dunk. Hello. PJ Washington got child support to play. He has child support to play. Of course he's going to dunk like that. <laughs> of course he's going to be out there playing like that. All the way, Luka. Okay, cool. See, Luka, this is where you dominate. This is where you get your points up. When they have Kyrie on the bench, now you can ball hog, bro. Even though that was still a terrible shot. Why why does the Jazz get Jordan Clarkson back? This is Jordan Clarkson's first game back in like five years. And Russell Westbrook just came back for the Clippers today. What's going on with today? Hey, John Collins getting too excited. Somebody call Anthony Edwards. <laughs> Somebody call Anthony Edwards, bro. And then Keontae George doing that. Wow. I'm not gonna lie, I think I need to get my wisdom teeth pulled, bro. They're hurting my gums right now. I know that's kind of random, my bad, y'all. M1. You see how Kyrie catches the ball as a screener and he get an N1 pull up jump shot with no dribbles? See, Luka can't do that, bro. Luka needs to take like three to five dribbles to get a rhythm and then he makes a play. Like, Luka just stops the offense, bro. Kyrie doesn't stop the offense. Timmy, Fiji. Water, hello. 37-41. This is a stupid high score for, I mean, first quarter. I feel like Utah can't keep this pace up, bro. I'm going to be honest. I don't think Utah can put up 160 points in an NBA game. If they do, then they do. And that'll surprise me. I mean, they have Lori. They have Jordan Clarkson. They have Keontae George, Colin Sexton. Yeah, they got guys, but... Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Lori back to dunking on people. Lori back to doing what Lori Marketing does. But I know, I know the Mavericks can. Luka can easily give you 40. Kyrie can easily give you 40. Tim Hardaway Jr. can give you 30. Derrick Jones Jr. can give you 18. Gaffer can give you 15. Like, yeah. PJ can give you 25. Hello. <laughs> I told you, that boy got child support to play. He's not playing around with you guys. Or child support to pay. He's not playing around with you guys. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, why are we losing to Utah? Please let Kyrie cook, bro. Those are bad shots Luka's taking. You see how Kyrie's still unselfish? Even though Luka was selfish when it was time to pass to Kyrie, Kyrie wasn't selfish when it was time to pass to Luka. See, that's just maturity, bro. That's just things Luka lacks. Like, he can't even get a rebound over two, two D-League players, and he can't get a rebound. Matter of fact, he ended up, he ended up on the floor and embarrassed. Um, I'm gonna just drink some of this water. Right? Kyrie, good left hand, like. 
5760. Come on, bro. You're not telling me John Collins just bullied you like that, bro. Not the same John Collins that was given a concussion by Anthony Edwards. Good pass, Kyrie. I'm telling you, bro. Kyrie is really the true point guard of the team. Luka Doncic is the two guard. And Kyrie is the point guard. I feel like that's simple. Like, people try to put Kyrie at point guard. I mean, Kyrie at shooting guard and Luka at point guard. Luka's not really a true point guard. Kyrie's more of a true point guard than Luka. Good pass. No, that was actually a terrible pass. Derrick Jones Jr. should have been able to catch and dunk. He shouldn't have had to have come down with it, but, you know, ended up working out for an and one. Good pass, Kyrie. Good extra pass. Step back, Fiji. Water. Contested three. Bad shot selection, really, but it worked out, so I'm not really complaining. Okay, I said I didn't think Utah could keep this pace up. And they low-key have. <laughs> I mean, they didn't keep up the 40 points per quarter pace, but... Fiji, water. They did keep up this high scoring pace. They kept up the pace better than Dallas did. Good pass. Never mind. All the way. Somebody hit Kyrie. Fiji, water, whatever, man. I'll take it as long as the Mavericks have the lead. That's all I care about is Mavericks wins. Yeah, you see how Tim Hardaway knew who to give the ball to? <laughs> Stop, pop. Fiji, water. Hello. 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 83-79, yeah. Best player in Mavericks history, by the way. Nah, I'll give that to Dirk. But most skilled, Kyrie's definitely the most skilled player in Mavericks history. I mean, he's the most skilled player in NBA history, so he gotta be the most skilled player in Mavericks history. Pull up, BG, water, hello in your mouth. I'm not even thinking about passing to Luka. Now it's Kyrie's time to shine. Now it's Kyrie takeover time. And there's nothing wrong with that. Kyrie takeover time is a beautiful time. It's like, what a time to be alive. <laughs> It's the best time to be alive. Yeah, Lori, so ridiculous. See, the Mavericks had Lori marking in. Oh my gosh, boy. If the Hawks had Lori marking in, like, just put Lori marking in and Anthony Davis on Atlanta with Trey Young. I'm getting excited just thinking about it. If it sounds like I'm tired, it's because I am Fiji Water. Um, It's like 1 30 in the morning right now. And I know I'm probably going to be sitting in this reaction chair most likely to 3.30 a.m. At the earliest, I'm getting off at 3.30. Unless I decide, I don't know. I might just decide to react to half the games tonight and then half the games tomorrow. But then I'm going to feel like I let y'all down. I don't know, man. I know people say you got to put your, your health first, but I love reaction so much. I love entertaining y'all so much. I really shouldn't have waited this late to get started, but it is what it is at this point. I don't know, I guess I have a choice to make. Stay up late, sacrifice sleep, or I don't know. Or just call it, get up early in the morning and finish it. So I guess it would be harder for me to get up and finish it, especially since I have to pass. Yeah, we, we just gonna stay up all night with it. <laughs> I should just start it earlier. Dallas is winning though. At least it's making it worth it. Hey, if I'm staying up late for Dallas Mavericks win, that's a sacrifice I'm happy to make, bro. That's a sacrifice I'm ecstatic to make, actually. Just let Kyrie close the game out. Let Kyrie cook. Yeah, Kyrie's the clutchest player in the history of basketball. Trust me, if you just let Kyrie handle the ball the last two to three minutes, you're not going to lose. Especially if you're starting that last two to three minutes with an eight-point lead. Yeah, you're not going to lose. You could even let Luka shoot the ball now. Because Luka can't even mess this up. Can he? Nah, Luka definitely can't mess it up now. Massive Cleaver wide open. Easy dunk. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. One for two, one for three. Sexton, good lay. Anyway, shout out Lori Marketing, shout out Jordan Clarkson. Like, subscribe, subscribe. I thought about this double on my piece, stay brief.